you know, we're going to get into uh, typical ground ball each day, but everything that we do when we start, we want to make sure that we're moving our feet. Everything starts from the ground up. When we play catch, we play after catch. Um, most time we really keep our feet a little bit staggered when we're going long toss. Um, but we're grabbing four seams. We're, we're, we're always constantly moving our feet. And if we play quality catch, after catch, hit the guy in the chest, um, we're going we're gonna to be more accurate with our throws. And, um, so the importance of quality catch, playing long tops, uh, strengthening the arm, working on your angles, working on moving your, moving your feet to get uh, the ball in the center, and uh, in good rhythm. We, we move from catch into some poor corn play. Um, you know, we do this every single day, just like catchers, uh, um, you know, doing their receiving, the hitters doing their tee work, um, in, in four corner catch. Everything essentially you cover as an infield. If you're a middle guy, you're turning double plays, you're moving it, you're flipping it. Um, doesn't matter if you're a first baseman, you're always keeping your feet moving, you're five up, receiving the ball, finishing your split, finishing your throw. Everything that you do um, uh, uh, each day, whether it's ground balls, uh, going back on fly balls, talking about monkeys and situations, um, that's normally separate into a Tuesday or Thursday or a Monday or Friday. Um, but uh, there's some absolutes every single day, and that's playing quality catch, uh, making it four corner, and uh, you know, really getting our feet going and, and, and gathering that sweat. So we moved into a little black and orange game. Um, it's a big time tradition with this game. Uh, I think created, um, you know, Jack Riley era. Uh, I know that uh, Coach Casey's continued it. Uh, I might be wrong, Coach Casey might have created it. But, you know, it's just another uh, four corner drill with our infielders. There's a lot of bouncing around. Um, sequence that we do, we call this one right here uh, black. And each time he rolls the ball, he yells black. But Cap's going to go out here, he's going to pop it out to Petey. He's going to step, Mo's going to tag, and we're just going to go around. This is something to get your mind right, get some team camaraderie, get some communication going on. Uh, we're going to be accurate and, uh, and controlled. So here we got into some, uh, some ladder drills where we can kind of coordinate our infield play, field it out in front, uh, getting our feet moving. Uh, like I said before, it starts with the the, 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 everything starts from the ground up. Um, this is something we would do after catch play, after four corner. Um, you know, we're, we're 10 minutes into it. Um, we're getting our feet moving, we're crossing over, we're doing some in and outs. Um, we're feeling the ball out in front uh, um, with some uh, speed and agility. So here we got it. We're just a progression right after we play catch, stretched out. Um, we get the guys balanced out between third base and shortstop, just working on some. Uh, uh, plays on the run, going two hands, keeping your body control, being accurate. Um, playing in the Pac-12, a lot of people punt, there's a lot of speed. So feeling the ball in motion, on the run, being in control, um, is, is something that we, we try to work on every day, if not every other day. So here we're just working on the, you know, the, the, the double play. We spread them out between second base and short. Uh, one thing we do at Oregon State is we really, really encourage um, our, our infielders to be flexible, be versatile. Um, if you play second, you want you to try to play short. If you play short, you should be able to play second or third um, to, to keep us fresh, keep us healthy, um, keep you more athletic. Um, so we're just going through a routine. We're going to go balls to the left. Um, now we switch to the right. Um, you know, second basemen are working on getting five up, staying low. We put the bucket there, kind of simulate um, a, a, a base runner uh, sliding in. So now we move into the second base, same thing. Going five up. We try to really, really limit the throwing that we do, uh, whether we're on a midweek um, or just getting ready for the season. Case is talking about stepping into that ring of fire right now. I think it's a great analogy of who he is as a coach and what we're trying to do. It's 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 not only just about the fundamentals, fielding the ground ball and throwing it the right way. It's it's what you got within and, and won the ball at the end of the game. So here we just got everybody together. Whether you're playing third or or, uh, or short, um, you know we're five up, we're working on tag plays. Simple fundamental that um, you know uh, we need to focus on. Coach Casey's uh, um, very, very precise in you know, all the small things in the game of baseball. So here, here what we've got going is uh, some uh, some rundown drills. A, uh, a situation in the game that's, that's you know another thing that a lot of people don't work on. So one of the big things uh, in the infield. Uh, we, we play in some pretty uh, good crowds, good environments where there's a lot of noise. Um, you know, Kevin right there called, called for the ball, called the shortstop off. Communicate, communication in the infield at Oregon State is, is, is vital. We're just doing some uh, ground ball communications in the hole, um, working with the third baseman, the shortstop, making sure that uh, third baseman can cut it off 
he's going to let the shortstop know. Um, the shortstop's got the ball. Um, they're going to communicate with each other, move it through the uh, series of backhands. Um, you know, we we'll make sure that um, we're getting balls to our right, balls to our left. Um, you know, and working the backhand, we got a pick and stick um, right there out of PD. Pin and mow, pick and stick. Um, we also have another backhand, we have a backhand rake. So here we're just in a situation where we're trying to uh, call out situations. Um, first and second, one out, we got there. Two outs, runner on first. You know, make all those drills that we worked on a little bit more game situation. 